Hey, what's up everyone? Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, today, I'm gonna show you basically how I put this bell siphon together. Um, I'm not gonna go into much details about how I built it and stuff. I can do that on another video. I just wanna kinda show you how I installed everything on this grow bed uh, for my aquaponic system. And then um, just kind of, uh, just show you the ins and outs on how it runs and stuff like that. Um, the standpipe, the bell half of the bell siphon, and then the uh, shroud here. Okay, and um, I did um, watch a lot of videos from uh, Rob Bob's channel. I don't know why you have two uh, first names, Rob, but um, uh, <laughs> post in the comment section why you have two names, uh, two first names, bro. But uh, anyway, I learned a lot from you, uh, Rob, and uh, so I thank you very much. I'm going to add his link here somewhere. Um, you guys, if you guys want to learn a, a whole lot about aquaponics, and I know he's humble and he wouldn't say that he's a teacher on this stuff, but uh, that's just the way it is. People start learning from people that are uh, just normal people. And so I learned a lot from Rob. So some of the things that I did on this, I took from him and, and ideas that he had or where he, wherever he got it, I don't know, he can tell you. But um, basically, I just want to show you uh, how it's running and uh, um, all that. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a little walkthrough of it. All right, so this is the uh, bell half of the bell siphon. This is a temporary temporary one. I built this because I wanted to, uh, I was being impatient. I wanted to basically get this thing going. Um, I do have other beds that I have growing now, and um, um, but I just wanted to, before I put the, the grow media in here and stuff, which is going to be another video, um, I basically want to show you guys how, um, how I think it works. Um, I'm always learning, so um, I don't claim to know, you know, a whole bunch either. Um, I'm just learning and I'm applying what I learn and uh, yeah So um, I did have to do this a little different like my shroud I had to do this a little different than Rob Rob has a video on it and I'll post the link uh, somewhere right here, but um, Basically um, how he did it. He did it in grow beds that were actually had flat bottoms um, and so the he used the cap on the bottom of this thing and um, and then he capped the top and all that but he did do holes all around the bottom and everything um, because uh, he wanted it to drain low. So check out that video for just uh, the specifics of it. But I had to do something a little different. And I wanted to save a little bit of money. So I guess I'll just start with the shroud. Um, I The holes are pretty uniform. And what I did was I actually had some tape that had these designs on it. And um, it allowed me to basically use the design on the tape to actually... Um, you know drill the holes just right um, so that it's symmetrical and it looks good for me and all that stuff um, and so um, I I used the tape but I could have used I could have basically just made some, like some kind of hole design and then printed it off and then wrapped the paper around this and taped it on there and then drilled the holes that way um, some people are anal about you know uh, getting the holes just right and all these different things I'm one of those kinds of people so I'm very sorry but um, I, I do like to have things pretty symmetrical and, and looking really nice and so um, that's how I drilled the holes in this thing. Um, the, the bottom, the very bottom of this, um, see you can't pull it off and that's really important because I do have kids and it's not like they're babies or anything like that but if you have the shroud just sitting down, um, I noticed a couple things. One of the things is, is that as this grow bed fills and drains, the gravel or the, um, uh, well, in my case, I had hi I have hydroton, so I have expanded clay. And so basically, I have this stuff. And this stuff is light. It's super light, and it actually floats. And so what it did was it kept picking it up a li just a little bit at a time, enough to where the hydroton can get under it. And then it would basically, um, it wouldn't have a, a, a sealed bottom, and the, those pebbles would get sucked down into the, my uh, sump tank. And so I basically um, didn't want that happening, and so Rob Bob, Rob's Bob uh, had a video showing how he basically keeps it down uh, to avoid p people from pulling it out, you know, and letting all that gravel or whatever is in your grow bed uh, down into your sump tank or clog the pipe there. Um, and so, um, so I had to do it a little bit different than him because he had he used a cap. So. Um, 
So I did this just for testing purposes, or just to show you guys, but basically, I have a bulkhead. I was going to use, um, uh, what are those things called, um, uniseals, um, but I really wanted a good seal on this especially, so I, I used a bulkhead. And um, this thing, it's called a knockout plug, okay, and you could probably find them online somewhere. I might even put a link to them if I can find them. But um, these are basically super cheap. I mean, they're like a dollar for like five of them. Um, and basically what they do is they go on the ends of the, of the piping, okay? And, um, and they're just there to make sure that you're not, um, you're not basically uh, getting dust and debris inside the shroud. Um, so, uh, so I went and got these and um, I had to glue it on the bottom of that shroud. Okay, and the way I glued it was I glued it this way. Okay, because if I had glued it this way, there's going to be this gap underneath it, and I wanted this thing to sit down into that uh, that thing. And that was the other reason why I didn't buy a, a strong cap is because it doesn't have as much give as this does. This this actually can bend just a little bit. Okay, and so what I did was um, I basically drilled the hole down inside the bed, and then I. Um, um, well, I glued this to the shroud, to the bottom of the shroud with just uh, PVC glue, and then I put it down, um, put this um, bulkhead down inside there, right? And the way I have it basically set up um, going into this bed is I have the bulkhead going straight through before I put the nut and the washer on there. I have one washer, okay, seated against this, and then I do, um, and then I put it through like that um, without the nut obviously I put it through the hole down there right and then I put another washer on the underside of the barrel and then I put the nut on and I tightened it all the way down and this gave me a really good seal on uh, this barrel because I was I was having a, a huge problem with it sealing good um, with the method I was doing before and I'm not even gonna bring up how I did it before but um, uh, so yeah, it didn't give me a good seal on this barrel because this barrel is, you know, it's curved. Um, oh, one other thing I did was um, when I before I put on the the nut and the second washer, I put on the first washer and then I put a little bit of Teflon tape and then I put on the second washer, you know, put it through, put on the second washer, put on the nut and then tightened it all the way down. Um, and so it worked really well for me and it's working now and. I'm loving it. So, um, so after that, it's easy. Um, this one is a smooth, uh, and when you buy these bulkheads, you need to consider these things. Okay. So this is a one inch and this is, uh, um, this pipe wouldn't fit in here, obviously. So I'd have to use a one inch pipe, but the one that I have in here currently, uh, the bulkhead that I have here in here currently is a threaded, uh, bulkhead. So this one's smooth and this one uh, that's down in there is threaded. Okay, and so I basically just tighten it in there like that, and then bam, I have my standpipe and I have my bulkhead and my shroud going on, right? And then, once that's in there, like that, and I'm trying to do it on the outside so you can see, once it's on there like that, I basically uh, put the, the hood over that, and then it basically, uh, once it gets to a certain point, which is set by the standpipe, Okay, so I don't want the water too high in my grow beds, okay, because if you have it too high, then the water is going to show at the top and all this sunshine is going to cause a lot of algae to grow. And algae takes up nutrients. You don't want the algae taking up nutrients and you don't want the algae taking up, um, uh, it, could, it could basically cause a major problem. You can get uh, uh, pH spikes, which I had to learn the hard way. Um, but your your pH will go up and down, up and down like crazy, and you're like, what the heck am I doing wrong? I'm changing out with RO water, da 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 da, and it doesn't matter because your your uh, your uh, um, algae these algae blooms are killing your pH. So I had to learn the hard way, and that's basically um, one of the ways that you can basically cut back on algae growth. It's going to happen, but you can cut back on it. You don't want the water going up over you know over the gravel. You want it going about two inches under the gravel, okay? And if you do that, no sunshine gets to that water, which means no algae growth under that gravel. Two inches is safe. And so this, 
I have about two inches, okay, that I can basically fill this thing up. But it'll, the fact that it's in here, right when it hits this point, it's gonna spill over, okay? And then um, that's basically the very highest my water can go in this, in this grow bed. And so then I put the standpipe, and when it gets to a certain point, it'll drain. So I'm gonna show you all that. I'm gonna show you basically um, it draining, and, um, and uh, obviously you're gonna need to run water to your grow bed. And I'll show you some of that right now, but uh, I just wanted to kind of explain everything, how everything works. You need the standpipe, you need the, the hood to make sure that people aren't pulling it up and stuff like that. You need the standpipe, or the uh, standpipe here, right? And then you need the uh, bell half of the bell siphon, okay? And that would be your total package, basically, of a bell siphon. So I can show you how to build it, but I would just be building it for you guys. So if you want me to build one on camera, uh, let me know, and I will, uh, I'll do one for you. So I'm going to be adding grow beds, but um, that's basically how it works. And so now I'm going to show you kind of the underbelly now to see, you know, how I basically plumbed it to my uh, sump tank and then uh, show you how I plumbed the uh, water to it. Okay, now just real quick, I wanted to show you guys, um, again, parts wise and stuff like that, I'm not gonna really go into that because it's complicated basically. Um, but I am developing a way to basically where I can, um, you know, do the same thing over and over again. So, but basically, see the little Teflon tape up there? So I put some Teflon tape and stuff like that, uh, but very first I put the second washer, the nut, and that Teflon tape, okay? And then I tighten it up, and then I, I tighten it up just uh, pretty good with an actual um, wrench, and I tighten it up. Um, that's why it's a little scratched up, but I did it several times because I was trying to figure out how to get it down, and this, uh, this way worked perfectly. Okay, and so it comes from the bottom there, obviously. And then it comes right over into my sump tank, into that one pipe there. I have other things going on that I'll be doing videos on, but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you this today. So this is the sump tank, and yeah. So let's go ahead and look inside the bell, or the, the shroud. All right, this is what the inside of the bell siphon looks like, or the shroud. Um, again, Rob, he brought up the fact that uh, you can drill holes all in the bottom of the cap. He used a cap on his, and I've explained why I basically used this little knockout uh, plug. Um, but basically, um, you see how the water's coming up from the bottom? So it's actually... Um, when this thing drains, it's gonna drain really deep and, and uh, almost completely. So this is a good, good way to, to do it. All right, let's go ahead and put this uh, drain pipe in, or the stand pipe. And basically, there's threads on the end of this and there's threads on the bulkhead that I got down there right now. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and thread it in there. Uh, bear with me too, because my hands are huge, so it's kind of hard to get past this camera without bumping it a little bit. Let me drop that in there and then go in. Yeah! <laughs> and then basically, sorry, you know, <laughs> just deal with it. Let me see if I can get this thing threaded. Let me get this camera out of the way a little bit. All right, there we go. I got it. And then I'll let you guys see how it basically siphons. You don't want to, you know, you, you don't want to thread the heck out of this. You just want to get it to where uh, it's in there, okay? Um, because remember, this is a drain pipe, so it's not gonna overflow or anything. Because if it overflows, it just overflows back into the grow bed, okay? And then I'm gonna crank up the water to make sure that uh, this thing gets filled up, so you guys can see it how it drains and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right. Now the water is just about ready to go over the top. There you go. And so now you can set up this bed just like this where you just basically run it to where it just overflows and you can put styrofoam on the top and basically plant out a bunch of lettuce um, or you can do the flood and drain system which is what I'm doing um, but you can do both with this really just depends on whether you put the bell half of the bell siphon on or not so speaking of the bell half of the bell siphon let me move this camera up so I can fit that sucker in there okay that way you guys can see how this works. Um, well, you can't see it, but basically this is going to cause a um, vacuum, okay, when I put this on there. So let's go ahead and do that. And sorry about the camera, but anyway, let's, let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay, and then it just start shooting out. Focus here. Yeah, there we go. So just start shooting out of the... Uh, pipe that I got going in there and bam suckers going okay and also notice the water okay the water only went up so high okay um, so that leaves me room to put the grow media to where I'm not growing algae so yeah working pretty good so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, also check us out on uh, well, check out our network page. We got a lot of other channels that we're doing now, too. And, uh, you know, survival and um, science and all kinds of different stuff. I'm doing a fish tank one here pretty soon. Really exciting. I'm going to be building a fish tank room, and I'm going to be using parts of my aquaponic system to grow aqua or aqu aquatic plants, basically, and shrimp and stuff like that. So, anyways, um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, check out Rob, Rob Bob's. <laughs> Uh, YouTube channel. He's a great guy too and uh, uh, always give him a thumbs up and um, yeah, he's a good dude. So anyway, God bless you guys like always and uh, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now so please check them out. Like always, God bless.